mentioned uh, trumpet playing in episode one. It's a fun little gift that Nathan got me for Christmas, a little mini trumpet. Um, this is nothing, absolutely nothing. Hey, we're back. Now we're in the OC. We're in the uh, Brea studio. Literally right on Brea Boulevard. If you see the main street there. Um, we've got a uh, cool little setup here. Let's check it out. Well, uh, this is a good opportunity to maybe show you some of the other stuff we've been working on. Uh, this is the Go Founders here. We started a founders only meetup. Uh, go check that out, the Go Founders, throw it, throw it down here. Um, we've got a pretty cool shop. Um, not only do we have like the, these cool like tees and stuff, uh, but we have like starter, not starter, a uh, founder swag. Like that's a cool sayings. Um, we'll link up the shop here, but that's a cool, uh, cool thing we set up. Uh, Go Go logo is something we've been playing around with. It's sort of like a uh, on-demand creative services. That's kind of quick turnaround. That sometimes uh, you know companies and uh, small businesses don't have the budget or time to go through traditional agency so we have a marketplace that we're setting up for that tap that app uh, we have a whole channel around that um, we'll link that there as well that's our startup then the mini mice uh, this one's close to me because this is uh, this is actually my girl so my wife and two daughters uh, we'll link them up here too they've got a podcast that we film in here so check it out this is brand new this is a uh, Twitch sort of station we set up. Uh, the intent here was to to start streaming. So we've done it a couple of times. Um, it's pretty fun. We like the uh, eight, sort of the eight bit thing. I'll show you here. We've got um, a little Raspberry Pi down here that we're using. It looks like my game froze, but we, we've got um, Raspberry Pi running RetroPie, and we've got emulators on there, so we can play all NES, SNES, uh, Genesis, um, Dreamcast, we can pretty much play anything. We've got like these cool uh, controllers here, and we've got some classic ones here too. I mean, look at that. You just yeah. plug them in USB and go to town. Super fun. Um, and then we use this um, HD video capture card. So this is how we go. We go online on. Uh, we use OBS. And we basically will run the uh, Raspberry Pi into this, and then this goes back out to the monitor. And then, uh, yeah, we could stream that way. Super cool. We got these cool headsets from Steel Series that we use not just for gaming. We actually use these for meetings. Uh, Nathan has a pair back at his spot, and they're super sick. Yeah. They were expensive, right? Like yeah. four hundred bucks. So. Yeah, we got we got them on Black Friday though. We got a deal. Black Friday deal. <laughs> but yeah. But you gotta see. So this is the stuff that I'm really proud of. Actually, over here you can show. Um, we've got a. Gary V signature uh, magazine. Uh, we pitched Gary V uh, 2017. Yeah. We pitched them, tap that out. So we were in New York. That's where we got that. There's a video. We'll link here too. Um, check out this board though. Oh, there he goes. Oh, dude. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Because it because yes. it, it's up there. It's we don't update it as often. Um, the girls put something up there. They had a guest. Uh, come and shoot a show, so we, we have fun with it. Um, check out these coasters. I mean, it looks like exactly like a cartridge. I haven't opened them, but they're super cool. And then this thing here is just insanely cool. Um, found this at a uh, shop in Hollywood. It's got so much here of my childhood that I can't even begin to explain. Um, I, I mean, obviously the DeLorean is there, which is a big deal for me, and you'll see why in a, in a few minutes. 
Uh, but Falcor, I mean, who Falcor? He, dude, he gets no love, man. Falcor is just the man. And he gets no love. He's on there. Uh, Pee Wee Herman. I mean, who didn't grow up watching Pee Wee's Playhouse? Like that was that was it right there for me. Um, and then we've got all this cool stuff here. Obviously, with uh, Karate Kid being like my number two favorite. I had to do the, uh, the senseis here. Uh, th those I got at the same shop, I got this guy. Um, probably the biggest thing you'll notice here is that there's Back to the Future stuff everywhere. But look at this thing. So this I'm super proud of. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it doesn't power up the laces, but it lights up. Super, super proud of this guy. Um, we've got some... True story. We're walking around Target and I heard the, the, the singing. And I tell Cynthia, stop, stop, I, do you hear that? She's like, what? I go, I know that sound. So we went through the aisles until I could find it. And somebody had turned it on and put it in the aisle. So I, I had to get it. And then, then that turned into, I gotta get the mini one. And then that turned into, I gotta get the Funko. Then that turned into this guy. I think my buddy gave me this for Christmas. And then the Funko tee. So that's my uh, Gremlins collection there. Um, but basically, Back to the Future is everything. I mean, here's the Save the Clock Tower. And why, uh, why, is it, why, why are you such a fanboy with that film? Why am I such a fanboy with Back to the Future? Um, it was my favorite movie growing up. I probably watched it every day for like years. They had it on a tape recorded. Right. That, you know what's funny about the tape? It might have come out on TV with, you know, with commercials. And I, ha I had to watch it that way. Cause that's, we couldn't even afford the actual movie to buy that we were watching the recorded one and we would just watch it over so and over. all the commercials. I, I don't remember if we had cut it or if there was commercials in it, but I, I remember that vividly. And then when part two came out, I actually saw that in theaters, which the first one I had not seen it in theaters. And then, um, not only did it blow my mind, but fun fact, if you know the day that Marty and Doc go to the future, then you know. Um, October 21st, 2015. October 21st is my birthday. So when Doc says, when Marty says, where are we, right? Where are we? When are we? We're descending toward Hill Valley, California at 4.29 p.m. On Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? I mean, we're in the future. He says, October 21st, 2015, and they flash that frame of the time circuits. I just lost my craft, and then that was it. I was like, it was meant to be, right? Like, at that point. Yeah, anyways, I'll show you more cool stuff. Um, office space, this is something that's, I just, I had to. I mean, this is a classic scene. Um, throw up the, the. <laughs> um, Milton, we should probably get a red stapler, that would be fun. Put it right here. Um, yeah. Look at that. This actually came out on October uh, 21st. It actually says 22nd, but it came out on the 21st. USA Today actually published it with this cover over it, which is cool. 
so yeah, this is where we, where we stream and then we do Zoom meetings here as well. So we'll throw up uh, whoever we're talking to there. Uh, a couple of workstations. Uh, here's my desk. I like to keep it keep it pretty neat here. Uh, this is the receiver, by the way, for the uh, the headset. So this is what allows us to keep them wireless. Uh, I've got a cool uh, DeLorean U.S. patent uh, piece of art here. Uh, this mirror here looks like it was custom made, but I found it at like Ross and Marshalls, <laughs> like literally just there, and I I couldn't believe it. Right. Um, so you'll see here some music stuff. Um, we all, me and uh, Anissa play. Yeah, little jam out session here. This is fun. Uh, we don't play as much as we'd like to, but it's fun. Here's my, uh, my Fender Strat. Super proud of this guy. Love playing this thing. Some keys and stuff. Um, this is cool. This is uh, Mike Tyson's actual signature. So we met him a couple years ago in Vegas. Mentioned uh, trumpet playing in episode one. This is a fun little gift that Nathan got me for Christmas, a little mini trumpet. Um, this is nothing, absolutely nothing. Yeah, I've got a bunch of Back to the Future t-shirts in here. And then this is sort of the big setup here. This is where we podcast. We record our shows. Um, big shout out to Iron Plank, uh, one of our clients. They had made um, this table and backdrop these shelves. Thanks, Lance. Yeah, shout out, Lance. Um, this, these are actually made out of uh, wine barrel planks uh, that are reclaimed. Uh, so this thing is solid, I mean, solid, solid, and then the. The pipe is all hand fabricated, which is super, super cool. The legs on this thing. So yeah, this thing is super solid. And if you look at the top here, he actually purposely left some gaps. Um, and he did that so that we can run our cables through neatly uh, from these uh, microphones, which was, uh, we didn't ask him to do and he did, which is kind of, we got some more planks here and some more uh, hand fabricated uh, pipe. And this is all handmade, super cool. Yeah, here's all my Back to the Future crap. I've got everything from Legos to Funko toys to um, these guys. Uh, you'll probably recognize the, the license plate here and here. I've got the hoverboard. The hoverboard is cool. And, uh, Gotta have the hat, right? Then I've got some cool pins here. This one's fun. It's got the hat. This is made by Made to Thrill. And then this one, I mean, that, only a hardcore fan will know what that is. It's Marvin, your cousin Marvin Barry. And mention the mini mice, that's my girls. They sort of took over the rest of this <laughs> backdrop here. So it's all Disney stuff that they've uh, collected. So, oh, and back, uh, we've got the uh, Karate Kid up here. So I've got my headbands, which are pretty cool. Uh, these here were designed by uh, my buddy Eli. We go back almost 20 years. Um, and he, he and I actually technically founded the uh, the agency. Um, we're still close friends. Uh, he designed this one and then the one on the other end. And we, we used to use these in our little loft studio we had in, down, in downtown Folsom. So we brought them here that we thought it would give the studio, the space a nice little touch. Yeah, this is uh, Leonardo da Vinci with, uh, with some shades on, some specs. Yeah, they're a little sentimental, so I, I throw them up here. The mics here, these are the Shure mics. These are the SM, what is that? SM7B. So we got three of these. These are, these are legit mics. These are the same ones that uh, Gary Vee and Joe Rogan use. Um, these like, 
adjustable arms. Um, we got on Amazon for like 30 bucks. These are pretty nice too because you can uh, move these around as needed. Uh, we record audio on a Zoom. I believe this is the H6. Yeah, H6. So we just go direct to here. We've got a Sennheiser um, headset here. This 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 is like 15 years old. Well, that's exaggerating. Maybe 10. But these guys have held up. I'm really impressed with with these here. And then the lighting is nothing uh, nothing crazy. We've got these little LED lights that we got on Amazon, and then. Uh, these limo studios were uh, courtesy of a uh, guy behind the camera here, Josiah. Um, and that's all we really need here for what we do. Uh, we actually shoot our shows on a Samsung S8, so we don't even go fancy with it. We just shoot on a phone, sync the audio, and then occasionally we'll do B-roll on this guy here. So we'll do B-roll on, uh, what is this, Canon T3i. Also just size. But yeah, we'll just uh, play around with this if we need an alternate shot. We're probably gonna record, what are we gonna do today? Um, we'll probably do an episode of Word Up. It is Good Friday, so happy Good Friday. Happy Good Friday. To you guys. Um, we got some client work we gotta bang out. Yeah. We'll do a, we'll do a show and then um, keep it pretty simple. Yeah. But we gotta probably actually, What's that? Yeah, do some work this afternoon probably. Yeah, this afternoon is probably filled with, with a lot of production work, so we won't uh, bore you with uh, 30, 40 minutes of uh, business strategy or anything like that this time. Should be fun. Uh, we've got a meeting here at 1030 with uh, one of our guys, Mike Anderson. We do a daily, we call them scrum meetings. So we meet for 15 to 30 minutes with our team every morning, Monday through Friday. So um, those are fun. Those are pretty much essential to um, the operations here at Sidebox because there's so many moving pieces. There's so many people involved in projects that we get together every morning and we, we talk about the day, what's going on, what's the status of these projects. Um, and then it keeps everybody, you know, we have fun on these meetings as well. So we keep it lively. Yeah, what are you working on today? Landing pages and I don't know what else we can drum up that's fun. I think I'm thinking, I just sent a revision, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're working on some landing pages for Trimble, one of our big clients. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll be working on wrapping up a website today for a startup in San Francisco, right? Uh, yeah. Komodo Health. Uh, they're a um, venture-backed uh, medtech startup. So that's what's going on today. Um, happy Friday, happy Good Friday. Uh, do check out the Word Up. It's a brand new series we just started. This will be episode three. And uh, have a happy Easter. <laughs>